Hello everyone, welcome to you all in my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to teach you to create holiday vacation planning worksheet in Google Docs. If you are also trying to create a worksheet, then this video might help you. So without any delay, let's begin. Okay guys, so now in this video, I'm going to create holiday vacation planning worksheet in Google Docs. So it is too much easy and simple. So first of all, I am just going to uh, create a shape. So for that one, I am just going to uh, in the drawing and just click in the new. Okay. So I am just drawing a shape here from here. I am just dragging a, a rectangle shape from here. Okay, like that. And I am just giving the color that is gradient. I am just using this type of the color. Okay. Then after that, I am just going to click in the save and close. Okay. So now I can see here. Well, I created this type of the rectangle shape and I will make it uh, as a background color. So for that one, I'm just uh, zooming out from here. Okay. Or I can click in the feet also. Yeah, like that. Okay. Or I can make it 10% only. Yeah. And after that, so now you can see this is my whole page, right? So I'm just going to uh increase like that and just you have to click in the in front of text and you can move it like that so i am just clicking the uh position uh, sorry position option and i think i should to use the fixed position on page so i can drag it anywhere i want okay so i am just going to resize it from this side also okay again I am resizing this one from this side okay like that so now I am just creating a document so after using this one just I am going to click here behind text okay so this is the text wrapping option okay so now I can easily type inside this piece and I am again making it 100% from here yeah like that okay so in this site so now we can see there is black border coming so i am again resizing this one like that okay so now it's gone right okay guys so now after uh, creating this background of this page now again i am going to create another shape from here okay so i am just clicking outside okay i think i should to make it 50 percent yeah like that and now i'm going to click in the insert drawing and just clicking in the new then after that, I am just dragging another shape from here. In the shape, I am just choosing the rounded rectangle. And I am just selecting, uh, creating like this. Okay. And I am just giving the color from here. I am just giving color is white color. And click in the shape and close. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now we can see I created this type of the shape. Okay, so now I have to click in the in front of text and i can move this one anywhere i want so i am just changing it in the fixed position on page and now i can move wherever i want okay so i am just resizing this one from this side also and from this side also yeah like that okay now again i am just uh, copying this one and again i am just clicking the paste without formatting okay yeah, I think I should to paste it like this. Yeah, like that. Uh, copy paste is not working maybe. Yeah, copy paste is not working here. So that's why I am going to create another new shape from here. Insert, uh, drawing a new. And again, I am going to draw around it rectangle from here. Like that, okay and again i'll drag it from here also another save yeah like that and i'm making the color each white color okay then again i am just giving it the fill color a uh, white fill color okay and i can make the outline color transparent this should be also uh, outline color transparent okay 
and i can use various type of the things from here but i don't want to use in this time and just i am just clicking the save and close okay so i think this shape came here and again i am clicking in front of text and just click in the fixed position on a page so i am make, bringing this one in the downside and i am just resizing this one like that yeah okay now again i am just creating another shape so for this one just go to in the insert drawing new again i am creating another uh, rounded rectangle shape from this side and from this side also i am dragging another rectangle uh, sorry rounded rectangle shape okay and i am just clicking this uh, i am just changing the field color in the white color and changing it from here and i am just making the line color is no uh, transparent and from this side also i am making it transparent and clicking the save and close okay so i think so i should to click here again and after that i am just making it in front of text and i am just choosing text position on page and i can drag this one in this side okay now i can resize it again like that and yeah like that so now we can see i have created almost five rounded rectangle shapes here okay so here it's too much easy and simple okay guys so now i'm going to uh, create another rounded rectangle shape yeah, so for that one just again you have to go in the insert drawing and just click in the new then after that click in the shape and i'm choosing rounded rectangle shape from here and i'm dragging this one like that changing the color into white clicking in, uh, and making the line color transparent and click in the shape and close and i am just making it in front of text and changing the position in the fixed position on top and i am just moving this one in this side okay like that okay i am just moving this one in this side like that okay so now we can see here i have created almost six shapes right so now uh, you can uh, use another type of the shapes also but in this time it's enough for me and now i am just going to use few things here okay okay guys so now after creating all those shapes so first of all you have to resize all the sides like that and now you have to zoom in in the feet or you, you can directly click in the hundred percent and it will be easy to work so now i am going to input the text here so for that one just you have to click in the edit okay so now we can see again the drawing panel will open then after that just you have to uh okay so after clicking uh in this uh, edit option just you have to right click and this is just you have to click in the edit text okay and after that just you have to give like that so i'm just giving dream holiday okay like that now i'm just giving uh you you have own a ticket to anywhere uh in the world in the world uh complete complete flowing question okay complete following questions as you plan your trips yeah, like that and i'm making it in the center uh, from here okay i'm just clicking here and changing it in the center i'm making it bold yeah like that and i'm just changing the font from here uh, i'm choosing this one okay then i'm just increasing the font size from here i think i should to make it another font i'm using comic sans ms 
like that okay I think I should increase the font size from here yeah like that again I'm just giving few spaces from here and just clicking the save and close yeah like that so now we can see here this type of the text came here so now again I am going to edit this one just click in the edit and now I'm just giving few text here so for the right click and click in the edit text so I'm just clicking I am going to okay then I am just using this uh, semicolon here and now I am just giving the font comic sans ms and changing the position uh, in the top and choosing the alignment in the center and making it bold and here in this side also I am just giving uh, the text so I am just using I sorry why I choose this location okay now I am just changing the font in the comic sense and just uh, clicking in the center and making it in the top and pressing in the control plus B yeah, like that and now I'm just clicking the save and close yeah, like that so now again I'm just clicking in the edit so now I have to drag few lines from here so I'm just dragging a line yeah like that again I am just dragging another line again I'm dra dragging another line sorry yeah, like that again drawing another line like that and I'm just clicking the save and close so now we can see it is have it is now looking a little bit good in this side so now we can say it it came outside so I'm making click in the edit and I'm changing it okay so just I have to drag it like that and you have to fix it and I'm just clicking the save and close okay then after that I'm just going here and I'm just giving another text so I'm just clicking the edit now I'm just using few text here right click edit text I'm using I'm using this how I will get there then I am just changing the position from here I'm making it in the center and position in the top bold okay and in this side also I am just giving few text so for this one right click edit text okay so i am just using who is coming with me okay so i am just creating a, a holiday vacation planning worksheet so it is one of the easiest thing to create in google docs so now i am changing the text alignment in the center and changing the uh, text position in the top okay after that I am just dragging few lines here so I think I should not draw line here so I am not doing anything and just click in the save and close so now we can see I have created this type of the things now I am just uh, going to give another things here so I am resizing this one yeah like that and I'm just clicking the edit and now I'm cl uh, right, right clicking here and just click in the edit text and active heat is I will do I will do yeah like that and changing the position from here making the text in the center and in the top and now I'm just Now I'm making it.
okay guys so now I'll make it bold okay then I'll draw a few lines here I'm increasing the font size and I'll draw a few lines here so I'm drawing a line again I'm drawing another line again I'm drawing another line again I'm drawing another line yeah like that and I'm clicking the save and close okay again I'm decreasing the size from here so I think it became a little bit more yeah like that okay so now I think I should do uh, copy this one and okay I'm just clicking in the save and close and again clicking the insert uh, insert drawing a new and I'm just pasting that one action and just click the paste I think it is not working right so I'm just clicking in the uh, shapes and dragging another rounded rectangle here and making the color rich uh, white color and the outline color is transparent and I'll add few text here so edit text I'm making it what I will pack with me yeah, like that and I'll I'll make it bold and I'll change the position from here okay so now I'll change the position from here so just I am going here and changing the text alignment in the center and the position in the top okay and I'm just dragging few lines here again like that okay and I'm just making it bold bold and I'll increase the font size from here like that then I'm just clicking the save and close and I'm making it in front of text and I'm just changing it in the fixed position on the page and I'm just bringing this one in the downside okay like that I am resizing it from this side and I am dragging in this side okay guys so now we can see I have almost created a worksheet I think I should to uh, uh, fix the uh, all the alignment so I am dragging this one a little bit down I like that I'll in I'm bringing this one in the top side and I am just bringing this one, this one in the this side yeah like that okay now I am again clicking the edit so I think I, I should to resize this one in this side yeah like that click in the save and close and I think I should to edit this one again and I should to change the position and alignment of these shapes okay guys so now I am just resizing in this side and, and dragging this one in this side and clicking the save and close so now we can see all the alignment little bit looking good right so now I am going to insert few uh, icons here so you can download it from the flat icon.com so for that one I am just going to click in the insert okay or uh, yeah like that uh, insert uh, sorry insert image and upload from computer in this side I am just using this type of the icon and I am bringing this one in the uh, in front of text okay like that and I'm just uh, bringing this one position in the fixed position on page okay and I'm just clicking the adjustment yeah like that okay okay yes okay so it is too much easy and simple so I'm just bringing this one in this side 
okay you like that okay and I can change the color and layout also from here in this side okay okay guys so now I'm going to use another icon so for this one just click in the insert again clicking in the uh, image and you know, clicking the upload from computer so now I'm just going to use this one earth globe and clicking here again sorry and just click in the image option and I am just making it in, in front of text okay and I am just making it okay so I think uh, I should do uh, click in, in front of text then after that just you have to uh, select the position in the fixed position on top and I am resizing it from this side and I am just moving this one here and I am just decreasing the size like that okay I am decreasing this size also okay and now I am just going to keep another type of the size sorry image so for this one again I am just clicking the insert uh, image and upload from computer and I am just using this type of the image and clicking here and clicking in the in front of text changing the position in the fixed position on page resizing it from the corner and I am just bringing this one here and like that okay now I am just using another images here uh, so now I am just going to use another image for this one just click in the image and upload from computer I'm just using this type of the image here and again clicking here and making it in front of text and uh, I'm changing the position here the position is fit position on fixed position on page okay and again I am resizing it okay guys so now I resize this one okay so now I am just going to use another type of the image here so for this one I am just going to click uh, sorry I am going to use another uh, image here I am just clicking the upload from computer and I am just using this type of the option here okay now I am just changing the uh, text wrapping in the in front of text and the position in the text position on page so it is too much easy to create holiday vacation uh, planning worksheet okay in Google Docs okay so now I'm just going to drag this one okay so I'm just so now I'm just going to drag this one here I am resizing it and I am putting it here okay so now I am just going to use the last image here so for this one I am just going to click in the insert and click in the image and upload from computer now I am going to use this one okay and click in the open and changing the position okay now I am going to resize it in this way like that okay so now I finally completed all the things okay guys so in this way you you can also create this type of the worksheet in google docs and you can easily create holiday vacation planning worksheet so in this way uh, you can create a uh, different type of the uh, holiday worksheet in google docs hoping that it will help you to create this type of the worksheet and i'll come back with another new video until that goodbye see you again